so now that we have the page ready why don't we handle the you know, user listing and have the on click to get the user context i'll open up the console first okay let's have everything here okay and we'll go to sublime go inside our user list the first thing which we are going to do is transform this list into a bootstrap you know, uh, list group okay and let's add the class fine we have this and now we need to handle the click on each user so let's name the function change chat user we will pass the user object here okay and let's create our method we will for now just do dollar store dot dispatch it's a function which we'll have to create let's say set current chat user we'll pass the user object okay so obviously we need to create that and the only thing which we'll need to do is the problem if you see is the current logged in user is also visible which i don't want so let's just pull in the uh, user store first you now we have the logged in user as a you know object so we can use that in here simply put an if condition it will be that if the user dot name is not equal to the user store auth user dot name okay now let me comment it for now because this function doesn't exist okay, and fine so you can see this is working now we'll need to create this one okay um, in our store first thing which we need to do is add the current user so and uh, current chat user which will be null by default okay we will have a mutation which will be set set current chat user pass the state and the user and we will simply do state dot current chat user equals user simple enough now we need to get the user and its conversations right so okay one more thing which we will add is conversation although we are not going to handle it right now but um, we can create this tub in the mutation which is set conversation um what will it be it should be the conversation right now let's go to set current chat user okay i'll just copy this function name so that there's no typo we'll pass commit and we'll pass the user now in here we are going to pass the user id so that we get the conversation okay so we will create a post data variable and in that i'll have id which will be my user dot id i'll return everything so that we can handle the states it will be a post url uh, let's call the user url get user conversation url pass the post data and the get header thing okay 
once this is done we'll get the then promise we'll get response and then we'll do two things one is commit the first one we'll pass the user you know which is uh, being passed to the action just to set the current user and then we will commit this set conversation now obviously for now we will not be implementing this um, we are just handling the uh, front end thing on in this video but in the later in the next video i'll show you the laravel implementation part okay um, so for now we will just comment it out and we have some errors which is fine chat store what happened it says parsing error line number five. Oh, I missed it now it says and fix operators must be spaced okay fine and the last thing is oh yes I almost forgot we need to find this URL now I'll be importing it from the config and so let's pull out our config file in here export constant api domain plus let's just say api slash v1 slash what do we name this uh, let's say get user conversation yeah. sounds good um, save all the files and we are ready okay let me see we are doing an http call which doesn't exist and that's the reason it will fail so for now what we can do is just do this sometimes the linting is a little heavy on you that's fine um, so do we have the current user yes we have the current user so now one small thing which i wanted to do in this video before i move on server implementation is handle the you know, active state which is something we'll have to do um, we'll go back to our chat user list we'll create a method here let's call it user active style okay and we'll pass the user to check and then if we find that the chat store dot uh, it will be this sorry this dot chat store dot current chat user okay which is something which we are setting in the um, action okay if that is equals equals null okay then we return false i'll explain you what i'm trying to achieve here if i find this dot current user dot id okay equals equals user dot id i'll return true and if there is a case by default i'll return false so basically what i'm trying to do is check if i have you know the current chat user set if it is um, not then i return false i by default return false and i only return true when i see that the current chat user id is equal to the user id okay which means now with this i can bind the class to um let's just say an active class okay which will depend on user active style and i'll send the user object here okay i think that is the correct uh syntax let me see 
it broke somewhere yeah there's something wrong I always tend to miss this so class equals and then I think this is a square bracket and then a curly bracket okay let's try that out yes so what we are trying to achieve here is by default nothing is selected if I click here this one gets selected otherwise this and again coming from the dashboard we have this in active state so this is retained because you know we are storing the data in Vuex. so yeah this is the first part of the implementation where you know we are uh, selecting the user we need to make a uh, HTTP call to get the user conversation which we are going to do in the next video where I'll show you the implementation of uh, Laravel we will create the chat model the database implementation and take it forward